Good morning, Patriots. Welcome to Rex Pines TV. I'm Peyton Forbes. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our school mission statement. We the Patriots achieve greatness through high expectations, passion, and perseverance. Thank you. You may now be seated. Today is Wednesday, May 12th, 2021. Let's go to Randy to see what's happened today in history. Today in history, May 12th, 1926, Roll of Moodsman in Lincoln Ellsworth and Umberto Nobile flew across the airship Norwich from New York at Svalbard over the North Pole to Alaska. With this event, Amundsen Ellsworth Nobile transpolar flight via Arctic Ocean was crossed for the first time. No doubt they flew their way to success. Now let's go to Scott for the sports highlights. Thank you, Randy. Today's sports highlights are brought to you by the Patriots. There are a number of sports which involve riding animals, but one of the funniest looking sports is elephant polo. Elephant polo is similar to the game played on horseback in which opposing teams try to score goals using a long-handled wooden mallet to hit a small hard ball through the opposing team's goal. This was invented many years ago when British people first went to India and eventually adapted their favorite game to use elephants instead of horses. It is still very popular in India, Sri Lanka, and Thailand, and the World Elephant Polo Championships is held annually in Nepal. Now let's go to Onalicia for the lunch report. Thank you, Scott. Today's lunch is turkey salami and cheese on a whole wheat bun, romaine salad, baby carrots, ranch dressing, diced peaches, mustard, and milk. Bon appetit. Now let's go back to Peyton. Thank you, Onalicia. Scholars, this month will show that we are FSA ready. Here are the upcoming May FSA dates. Hey Patriots, Mr. Santiago here. Today is our next Pat the Patriot virtual read aloud. Make sure that you're tuning in. Remind your teachers, don't let them forget. Today's book is gonna be the big test and you don't want to miss it. All right guys, have a great day and enjoy the story. And finally, get ready because the book fair is almost here. The book fair begins this Monday, May 17th. Now let's see what the weather is going to be like today with David. Thank you, Peyton. Today's weather in Pembroke Ponds, Florida is forecast to be 91 degrees Fahrenheit and scattered thunderstorms. Looks like the rain is coming out to cool us down from the sun. Now let's go to Sam for the joke of the day. Thank you, Dee. And here's today's joke of the day. What do you call a smart dinosaur? It's this story. Thanks, Samuel. That was hilarious. Today's birthday boys and girls are Brianna Nieves, Nicholas Nunes, William Marcos, and Daphne Arias. Happy birthday! Now let's go back to Peyton. Thank you, Solomon. Patriots, don't forget your past expectations. It represents present yourself positively, act kindly towards others, treat the school's environment respectfully, and succeed at everything. Congrats to Miss Newton, Miss Kane. Ms. Mraz and Ms. Santori. You all had the correct answer to yesterday's riddle, which was, how many sides does a circle have? The correct answer to the riddle was two sides, the inside and the outside. Now for today's riddle. What two words added together form a place where you find the most letters? Again, what two words added together form a place where you find the most letters? Teachers, please send your answers to pines.renaissance at gmail.com before 10 a.m in order for your response to be reviewed. Winners will be announced on tomorrow's morning announcements. Everyone at RPTV would like to wish you all a wonderful Wednesday. And don't forget to remember, unite, rise. Have a great day.